My name is Dan Burdett. I'm an organic dairy farmer here in Haywards Heath in West Sussex. So our family moved here in 1986. My dad was an assistant um, farm manager near to here and had an opportunity to become a contract farmer along with another partner. Um, he assumed the full contract um, a couple of years later. Starting from scratch, by 1994, um, the business had made enough money to be able to buy half of the farm that we were currently operating at that time. In 1999, we became organic. And in 2008 is when I came back to the farm, so 12 years ago. So having grown up here on the farm as a, as a kid and worked on the farm, I never felt it was part of my destiny. I went to universities to study business studies, carried on um, in the sales and marketing roles in London, and that took me abroad quite a lot. But I never felt it was for me, being the small cog in a big engine. I wanted to have my own business, and I love working outdoors. So when the opportunity came to come back and help my dad out on some days off, I instantly fell in love with the job back in 2008. So we farm here at Cock Hayes around 300 hectares. Uh, around half of that we own, half of that we have on short-term uh, contracts or we rent. Of that, about 150 hectares would be uh, grazable and of which half, about half of that, about 75 hectares, would be our grazing block. So we're an autumn block carving farm. Uh, we have always been autumn block carving. Uh, the herd, currently 315 cows here who all carved from late August through to October. Um, they are predominantly Holstein Frisian. We have crossbred in the past with Swedish Red, Norwegian Red, Montbelliards, but the decision was made uh, by me a few years ago to simplify it and try and get an animal, a grazing animal, about 550 kilos. So we have used Irish and New Zealand genetics in order to get to that place. So as organic farmers, we want to make the most of the forage and the grazing that we've got here. So uh, we would in a normal year, we'd be grazing mid of February to the end of October. And during the winter months, we're on self-feed silage, predominantly grass, um, usually three to four cuts of grass uh, and with some whole crop silage um, from time to time. And we would feed concentrate through the parlor um, up to about seven kilos through the winter um, and usually about 1.1 to 1.2 tonnes per cow per year. So as a strategic dairy farmer, what I'm really looking forward to is the challenge of having other farmers and, and other experts come onto our farm and look and see how we can improve things. We always think we're doing things very well here, um, particularly with our fertility and our grazing, but I'm sure that um, there are aspects of our business which will benefit greatly from having others here. So we would definitely be really proud here um, of our fertility over the last few years, going from a 15 week to a six week block. So I'm hoping that we can impart um, some of that on, on our visitors here, um, but also the, the, the grazing lays that we have here, the herbal lays and how we've managed those and how we've managed to increase grass utilization over the last few years. As a strategic dairy farm, I see this as an extension of our discussion groups. So I've benefited greatly over the last few years from the wisdom and experience of my fellow members. And I see this as an, an extension of that. So we hopefully will get a broader spectrum of farmers who are gonna come here and we'll learn as much from them as hopefully they will learn from us. I'm hoping that my passion for regenerative agriculture will come through as part of this. So it's not about just the cows, it's about the land that we manage and how we manage those soils and the plants that we grow. Um, we're hoping to plant uh, silver pasture starting this winter something not seen on many uh, UK dairy farms. So hopefully we can uh, provide a different aspect to dairy farming in this country.